Okay, so this is a second attempt at it because I realized the first one uh, made it overly cumbersome in order to see what was going on. Anyways, um, this is a small talk on mouse drift and a way of counteracting that in the middle of playing a map in a way that doesn't involve you resetting your wrist position in a way that doesn't involve waiting for a slider or a break in order to push the mouse up quickly uh, while lifting it or anything like that. This will let you ideally keep on playing the game, keep on moving your mouse, but make these little adjustments while you're playing in order to manipulate where your mouse is while keeping your cursor going where you want it to go and hopefully that helps unlock certain maps that would have otherwise been troublesome for a mouse user. Um, so let's go look at the monitor real quick and I'll try and get my hand in the shot at the same time. Maybe if I lean really low like this, you'll be able, there we go. So basically when you're moving your mouse around and you're playing the game, you know, you're doing these jumping patterns, you're going left and right the entirety of the time. While you're doing this kind of stuff, your mouse, if you're experiencing mouse drift, is going to try and basically push back. It's going to start slowly coming down on the mat from the centered position until eventually when you're holding it, like, you've run out of desk space pretty much and you're playing with your hand, it's floating off the desk, it's horrible, it's not what you really want to have happen. Um, and basically what ends up causing this is there's these tiny little movements that you make when you're playing that you don't even really realize that you're making. When you're going left and right, the mouse isn't staying perfectly still in your hand, even if you're trying to grip down on it like such, because if you are, even with the palm grip, you're making it such that it's very hard in order to be able to move the mouse up and down. Um, without, like, putting your wrist in a different position. Um, so almost everyone that plays with mouse is using some form of a claw movement or they're using their entire arm to aim. This isn't covering people that are using their arm to aim. This is people that are sitting their wrists on the table and then using that in order to pivot around and jump. Um, arm aiming does reduce mouse drift by a good portion, but it's still purported by people like Careers and um, a few other big name players that even with that, there's still mouse drift to a degree, just not as big. Um, but basically when you're playing, the mouse ends up shifting at these angles that are very tiny. They're tinier than what I'm even rotating right here. And as you go left and right, and you're trying to compensate for that tilt while you're aiming, and you do a lot of this subconsciously. It's not like you're actively thinking this through for a lot of it. Um, the left and right motions basically end up slowly drifting the mouse down by not even like a millimeter at a time until it starts to push into your wrist and you can't really control it at that point. So if it's small shifts in angle that are getting you down there in the first place, then the reverse is also true. You can manipulate small shifts of angle in order to push the mouse back up while you're still playing. So, um, what this ends up meaning is that we need to find a way that, like, let's say I want to go left to right. Okay? Now, if I'm keeping my mouse perfectly steady, alright, we'll move the cursor down there so you can still see it in the corner. If I'm keeping my mouse perfectly steady and I go left and right, you know, I'm going to be doing a range kind of like this guy right here, right? If I want to have my mouse hand go down, like let's say it was happening to drift further up, what I'm going to want to do, and this is going to be a highly exaggerated version of it, is if I want it to go down, I'd want to shift it so that I'm having the mouse at an angle It's kind of like this. I want to shift it counterclockwise. And now if I'm moving it so that the mouse and the monitor moves horizontally, you see where the mouse is going down there? I'm keeping it basically moving horizontally, but the mouse is starting to shift downwards. So what happens is if I like cut back to a normal angle after that, and now I start going horizontal, the mouse is shifted to a lower position 
than where it was before. See how there's almost like a little V pattern there, and I'm keeping the mouse moving horizontally on the screen while doing that. Um, consequently, if the mouse ends up going too low and I need to shift it back up, I can do the opposite. I can rotate it clockwise, so like this, and then when I'm going to the left, my mouse is going to move further away from my hand than where it was to begin with. So what you can end up doing is if my mouse is starting to push really far in like this, if I'm moving to the left and I rotate it clockwise and then I'm going back to the right for another jump and I rotate it counterclockwise and I go back up, the mouse is slowly going to travel up. So like an exaggerated version would be like I'm essentially doing something like this in order to push it all the way up. Um, or vice versa. If I want it to go down, I'd do something like this. Now keep in mind, this is just horizontal motions on the screen. When I'm moving the mouse in those angles, so I'm still aiming like normal, but I'm manipulating where my mouse is in, in comparison. So if you find that there's a times where you need to like shift your hand up, because the mouse feels like it's in a weird position to where it was to begin with. Instead, if you're focusing on whether you're predominantly moving left or right, you can subtly adjust the angles in your mouse, um, which shouldn't affect your aim all that drastically. We're talking about, like, when I talk about actually how much angle you actually need in order to do this, I'm talking about no more than, like, shifting it that much or, like, that much. Just a very tiny little bit. Subtle little motion and it's slowly going to end up pushing the mouse back up until it's at a point where it's comfortable and then you don't have to think about it until it starts feeling like it's drifting down again. And so that, that's counter drift for lack of a better term for it. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm really trying to get across with this. Um, is that how you want your cursor to move on the screen is a one-to-one -one in your mouse, but given the way that a lot of people grip their mice and play the game, they're dealing with these tiny little shifts in angle that they're not really intending to do, and that causes the mouse to stay at one part in the screen, but the mouse to slowly drift towards the edge of your mat. And by twisting the mouse in certain manners while you're moving in certain patterns, you can end up getting the mouse back to its original position while maintaining where you want the cursor to be on the monitor. So that's the too long didn't watch. So I, I hope that helps. <laughs>